Hey everyone, it's Master Brennan. How's it going? This is like long overdue, but today I'm gonna do a Pokemon collection haul video from Japan. Oh, why did I say Pokemon? Japan haul collection video. Uh, yeah? Japan haul collection? The reason why I say Japan and not Taiwan and Hong Kong, if you didn't know, I travelled there like two months ago. You can go check out the vlogs there, starting to go up twice a week on Yesh and also MBXD so you can go check that out uh, if you want to see what I got up to while I was there but this is mostly a Pokemon haul because I mostly bought Pokemon but um yeah Japan haul because I bought most well yeah I spent most of my money in Japan and it was my first time in Japan so yeah anyway uh we are going to start first things I'm going to show are like Pokemon foods because I just filmed the Pokemon like Pokemon video. You can go check it out in my previous video. Uh, if it was the previous video, I'm not sure, but a previous video anyway. Um, so yeah, these are Pokemon biscuits, and I really like the design of these. Yeah, so that's why I bought it. And this one is so nice. I should buy another one actually. And I really like the box. Yeah, just one like Pokemon lollies because I love things Pokemon. And these gum. The gums came with like little Pokemon, I don't know what you call it, they're not actually anything, it's just like Pokemon paper. And I saw this at Nakano Broadway, these are like Full Metal Alchemist figurines, but they're like the, they're not hard, they're like squishy material, very nice for a collection. I really like this. You also bought some like squishy toys, <laughs> they squeak, uh, they're supposed to squeak. Oh yeah, I got some like folders as well. Pokemon K-pop ones. These were actually really cheap. I think they were like 200 yen, so it was, yeah, really cheap. Oh, look at the back. I didn't show the back. Oh, I didn't show this before, but these are like Pokemon crackers. These are like those um, Wang Wang biscuits, if you know what they are. Or oh, Wang Wang crackers. They're like Chinese crackers. They taste exactly the same. But yeah, they were very cheap as well. I think they were like under 400 yen, so it's pretty cheap. You know how like there's like lots of brochures and stuff and yeah I just like collect all of them and put them inside here. Pokemon like uh what do you call these? Like Pokemon bells. I actually bought lots to give away so I'll show a video overlay of the actual ones that I bought. I bought a Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, I think it's called a Litleo, was there another Pokemon? Snorlax, Eevee. But yeah. I kept the Bulbasaur for myself because I really like Bulbasaur. And I bought this pencil case at Daiso. It's, I'm pretty sure it's like Astro Boy. It was very cheap, like Daiso cheap, very cheap, but it's very nice pencil case. It's like one of those little ones that you get. Uh, yeah, little ones that you see Asians carrying. But yeah, I really like this one. I really like the design of this pencil case. And I did buy this cup for my sister. Um, it's just a Pokemon cup. It has a small X plus K and it's got a Pikachu at the back. Oh yeah, I got these. They're like Pokemon stop sign. Oh, well, they're not stop signs, but they're really cute. Like, here's an Eevee one. There's also Meowth. And we also got a Psyduck one as well, but it's not here. But you can see um, the designs here. I really like these because they're really cute. Now I did get this Dragon Ball Z cup, and when I say it was expensive, it really was so expensive. Um, yeah, this one's a Vegeta one. It's so cool though. There was a um, Goku one, but I think this one looks a lot better. Like, I really like the design of this one. How much was it? It was like 1,400 and something yen or something like that. But, I love the design. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I also got this really cool Pokemon cup. And it's plastic, but very good use. I've used this so many times already. And I did get this suitcase, and I bought these stickers from the Pokemon Center and just stuck them on. And if you didn't watch one of my previous videos, you would know that I bought some K-pop light sticks. The Twice one, and what was the other one? Oh yeah, Twice and B1A4. And this is what I was like trying to look for. These are actually all Pokemon, and yeah, they were just 50, 50 yen, so that's why it's like so cheap, it's like, it's not even a dollar, like, so cheap. So we'll just 
get into manual focus. So X U X U. There we got a Kabuto. Nidorino? No? Nidorino? I think. Yanma. And I really love this cipher, but it was like 200 yen. So, but it's really cool though. Sandru. Oh, Omanite, I think. Oh, and this very cute Charmander was also 200 yen. Combuskin. Chincha. Uh, I forgot. Uh, no, I forgot. <laughs> and this one, Bishart, I think. And then we've got a Machamp, Ma Machop. A very, very, very dirty meow if I need to clean it. But it's a very cool, very cool meow. Get in. <laughs> We've got a Buizel, Chikorita, Lucario, and a Pidgey. And seriously, I bought these all from Lacano Broadway. And there were like so many shops that were selling these sort of similar Pokemon figurines. So, yeah, there was like so much to choose. They just like chucked it into a basket and you just like pick 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 and I, like, I spent like ages like trying to pick out the best ones that I wanted but um yeah I don't buy all the ones that I wanted because um yeah otherwise I just buy too many because I already you know that's quite a lot already and I don't have space to like display it so they're in the bag at the moment this is very 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 cool Yugi a key ring chain thing I really like it yeah, now he's on display. Yeah, I think that's about it for this video. I did buy some other stuff, but I don't really know where it is. But that's most of it anyway, the main stuff that I bought in Japan. And yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, this was just a very, very late haul video of my trip overseas. Yeah, most of the stuff I bought in Japan. But yeah, I definitely want to go back to Japan because there's so much more stuff that I want to buy. And I, I went there with like a 20kg, 20kg, 20, um, yeah I could only bring 22kgs unfortunately, so next time 30kgs definitely. One thing I need to note though about Japan is that they actually add tax onto the stuff that you buy. Those Pokemon figurines, like even though they were 50 yen, they actually add tax onto it, so it wasn't actually 50 yen. Well, it's more than 50. So, like, you need to think about that when you buy stuff in Japan. But yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any video ideas for me, please feel free to comment down below and let me know because I'm, yeah, don't seem to be uploading that much content because I don't really know what to film. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time in the next video. So yeah, don't forget to check out my vlogs from when I was in Japan and also Taiwan and Hong Kong. That's over on MXD and also Yesh. Don't forget to check out those channels. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot. I bought these three from the Pokemon Center and also um, the Skytree Pikachu as well. And I won this Kirby from a claw game machine. Yeah, on my first try, that was so amazing. <laughs>